What is up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington, this is Deer Meat for Dinner, and I am so excited about today's video. This is the very first installment of Freezer Meat Fridays. This is gonna be a way to bring new recipes from all over the world that you can cook your wild meat, fish, shellfish, whatever. The meat you have in a freezer, let's have fun with it. And I wanna dedicate this video to my friends in the Philippines named Harabas. It's an amazing YouTube channel. They're huge fans of ours. You guys just reached a million subscribers and I'm so proud of you. And to everybody in the Philippines, one of my favorite recipes is adobo. Now, adobo you can do with fish, pork, or deer meat. This is a piece of a mule deer that Sarah got just the other day. That's the package. It was vacuum sealed, it says mule deer on it and I didn't even know what this meat was. I pulled it out of the freezer, and I was like, oh, look at that. There's a nice muscle. And with just a handful of ingredients, we're gonna make an absolutely amazing dish. If you love adobo, drop a thumbs up right now. And if you're new to deer meat for dinner, please subscribe, ring the little bell, and stay informed because no we don't just cook, we live this lifestyle. Anytime you have a piece of wild game like that, you're gonna see it, it'll probably have some silver skin on it. That silver skin is quite tough, so get your knife under it and just start gently cutting it off, just like that. You don't want that. People oftentimes say, oh, I don't eat deer because it's gamey. Well, I'm here to tell you, if you take care of it, if the game was harvested properly, cleaned properly, and cooked properly, it will not be gamey. It will be delicious. And that's what we're doing right now. We are making deer meat adobo. First time I ever had this dish, I was in the CNMI and the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, and I fell in love. This is like so good. And just like that, we have a perfectly trimmed out piece of meat. No silver skin. Look how beautiful that is. Now, you could use these scraps. You could boil this down. You could make a soup out of this. You could do a lot with this. But I have a little dog named Maverick. He's a black mouth cur and I train him. His favorite treat is raw deer meat. Next step in making our adobo. Let's come in here and just cut this into nice size pieces. Let's just cut it into nice, handsome size pieces. Just like this. We're gonna take some Everglades. This is the low sodium with no MSG in it. And we're gonna season up our meat. A little black pepper and some salt. No, just like, I like to sort of massage that meat and get all the seasoning and spices into it. Perfect. And while our water comes to a boil, we're gonna start on our wild rice. Check this out, this is fun, you've gotta try this. Get some bacon, this is applewood smoked bacon, and throw it in this pot and let it start searing up. Okay, so we're gonna use this Lundberg's, it's a wild rice. I picked that up at Publix and I'm gonna throw it right in with my bacon. Now this rice is literally gonna soak up that oil and give it just an amazing flavor. Then we're gonna take some beef stock, throw it right in there. Oh yes. Now we're having fun. We're gonna let our rice keep cooking and we're gonna take all of our meat that we trimmed up and seasoned and put right in this water. Just like that. We're gonna let that meat boil for about 15 minutes. Now, let's get all of our ingredients ready. This is what we're gonna need. This is ginger. This is how I get ginger ready. This is a fresh ginger root. Basically, you just find the little fat chunks of it, like this, and you're gonna peel it, just like that. And see, you just take your knife and just a 
Oh yeah. Now, you guys may have a better way to peel ginger than I do. If you do, leave it in the comments below because this is a place for all of us to learn. And now you're gonna slice your ginger. Just like that. And then you want nice fat chunks, just like that. When you're eating this dish, you wanna be able to get little, little bites of the ginger. That's gonna give it a real refreshing, like bright flavor. I love ginger. Now we're gonna take some fresh garlic. You cut the top off and then just break it apart. You want some of these big old fat cloves. Just take the flat side of a knife and crush your garlic clove. It'll be peeled and ready to go, just like that. So same as the ginger, I want our garlic to have nice big fat chunks. Now we take a red onion, cut the bottom, cut the top, cut it in half. We're just gonna... The smell of the house is amazing. And it's time to keep on rolling. We've been bo boiling our meat for about 15, 20 minutes. And I wanna save my broth. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Let's add a little bit of vegetable oil. Well, about that much. Take our red onions, put them in there. Now our onions are cooking. Now we're gonna add our ginger and garlic. Oh, it smells good, y'all. Fresh cracked pepper, only way to go. Mmm, so good. You cannot have adobo without the doni. This is tinny and hot pepper. These, this, this literally came from the island of Tinian to my house, and yet don't want to use too much. I'm actually going to go heavy. I'm going to use about half a teaspoon, put it right in there, and then you're going to mix that up. And if you're following along, like if you're following along making this recipe and watching the video, you know right now your house smells amazing. Now we'll take our meat that we boiled, put it right in here. Ooh yeah. Start mixing it up, letting it fall in love, baby. Oh yes siree. The smell is outrageous. Last but not least, say it. What do we have to add? Ba-boom, coconut milk. Can't do this without the coconut milk. Now we're gonna just let that start. Mm-hmm. Now we're gonna turn that temperature down and we're gonna let it simmer. We just want that to simmer and as it simmers, all those flavors, it's gonna be like a party in that pot. We're just gonna take a nice scoop and put it right in the center of the plate. Now let's take our, get some of that love right out of the middle and we're gonna put it right on top, just like that. Now I'll take this spoon, get some of my sauce and we're just gonna come right around the outside of our plate. Now we've got to give it that little toasty crunch from the sesame seed. Green onion around the outside. Little pinch of chive right on top. That is deer meat adobo. Inspired by the people of the Philippines, I learned about it in the CNMI and I absolutely love it. And you said it's mule deer. Mule deer, yeah. I don't think I've ever had mule deer before. Well, you have now. I don't think I've had deer before. Really? You've never had deer? How's that possible? Sauce, 10 out of 10. Rice, 8.9 out of 10. Meat quality, 8.3 out of 10. Presentation, 10 out of 10. The fact that I'm gonna finish his plate probably. <laughs> 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 
So Alejandro, not only was he a standout left tackle for the Steelers and the Ravens, he's just an absolutely awesome human. If you watched our series when we were down in Guatemala, we had a great time together. While we were there, he was talking about he wanted to learn how to catch snook. So I invited him and his buddy Joe up to Jupiter. We're actually going to go snook fishing this afternoon. But in the meantime, I wanted to uh, make them lunch and see what they thought. Typically, we pan fry our deer meat. Take the same little cutlets, bread them, and pan fry them. Make a little brown gravy and white rice, and that's just how we eat deer meat. With Freezer Meat Friday, I'm trying to inspire people to try new stuff. Reach out, take the meat out of the freezer, and do something fun There's with it. ginger in that. Ginger, yeah. That's good. If you guys have enjoyed this, I encourage you to subscribe, drop a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you have a recipe that you think I should try, Leave it in the comments below and uh, don't worry. My feelings aren't hurt that I only got invited for lunch and not snook fishing. It's fine. I'll live. Someone's got to work for a living, right? That's all I got for today. You guys, thank you so much for being a part of the very first freezer meat Friday. Love you guys. See you, Brito. See ya. Well, we're actually going fishing, but that's all I got for today. Take care. God bless. And we are Aubrey. Say it.